right, so um, because it's so restrictive in its film capacity, the macro, I mean, I have decided to also take video with the iPhone so we can see what's going on. And there's a little bit of a look at the setup there. You can see these are, uh, I have a video featuring these um, uh, extension tubes that are pretty good. So, these are the two scorpions. That's the male there on top. And if you're looking through the iPhone, there's the female underneath. And so it's pretty cool to see through macro. Now we can look at how close up we get. Now I have a, a light here set up so that um, we get a little more light on it because uh, you need a lot more light for macro filming. So this is the male and let's go look at the female. Uh, she's hiding a little bit. There she is. There's her post abdomen there. See the stinger. So this is a smaller scorpion species than I'm used to. I've never seen I've never kept any any uh, this small before. I've only ever had the emperors, which are huge, and actually, baby emperor is about the size of the male here. Give you a he's he's a little bigger actually, I suppose, but uh, give you some kind of perspective. He's probably, I mean, probably close to a yearling emperor. They don't. They don't grow too fast, but I would say that's probably a good, accurate estimate. I'm trying to get the lighting to be a little better. So, pretty cool. I really love this macro lens. It's something else. Let's see if we can get even more light in there. Check that out. Yes, there it is. It's pretty uh, sensitive. The tiniest little movement of the camera moves the entire picture a lot. It's uh it's pretty crazy. The smallest little difference. Even when I adjust the focus, it moves the picture around a lot. You can see that it's pretty neat. So that's the close up. They're not really doing a whole lot, which is fine. Don't really need them to.